sometimes you read a news story online that just feels way too good to be true. You know, it's like one of those 4chan leaks that compiles all the fan requests that people have made about something over the last couple of years, makes one large essay about it, and it just sounds so amazing, but there's no way it could be true because of that. However, this time around, it's real. The folks at Paramount who own the license for the Ninja Turtles have confirmed that a brand new AAA action RPG Ninja Turtles game is coming, and it's based off of an incredible storyline that is very recent for the Turtles. And I know I haven't talked too much about the Ninja Turtles on this channel, okay? Maybe outside of something like Injustice 2, but I have been a lifelong fan, all right? I grew up on the TMNT, and I love and have consumed all TMNT media. Can't wait for that new movie, and I can't wait to see this game. And if you want to see me cover it, if you want to see all the news and updates, all that stuff from me, I'm going to need you guys to show your support on today's video. Scroll down, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video here to 3,000 likes for a new Ninja Turtles game, a AAA action RPG Ninja Turtles game is happening. And with that being said, okay, let's get into this now. Polygon dropped a bombshell of an article today giving us a ton of information about this upcoming Ninja Turtles game. Seriously, you guys are gonna need to strap in for this one, okay? Because this is not a Ninja Turtles game that you may have expected to have been made. Although I hope we get a traditional one soon with all four turtles being able to free roam around New York City, selecting one another, that would be awesome to be able to switch between them. I think that would be so much fun and even have some co-op in there would be cool too. But this game that we're talking talking about here today is actually based off of the very recent, and I'm talking 2020 recent run of The Last Ronin for the Turtles. Here's what the article said on Polygon. Like the comic, The Last Ronin video game adaptation will be a darker, more mature take on the typically colorful Ninja Turtles, according to Doug Rosen, Senior Vice President for Games and Emerging Media at Paramount Global, the rights holder for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In an interview with Polygon last week, Rosen likened the upcoming third-person action role-playing game to Sony's recent God of War titles and said that it will be authentic to the story of the last run in arc, which is set in a future where only one of the turtles has survived. So that's right, if you've never read The Last Ronin, it is based on exactly that. All the turtles except one have died and you need to find out who that last remaining turtle is of the four and what's going on in New York City for it to be wreaking so much havoc. It is darker, it is more mature, and I am so excited to hear that they are very much going to honor that with this game. And holy smokes, does my excitement jump up to 11 when I hear that they want it to be inspired by something like God of War? Are you kidding me? There's more information in the article here, let's read. While other TMNT games like last year's Shredder's Revenge are typically about playing as all four turtles, and sometimes their allies like Splinter, April O'Neil, and Casey Jones, The Last Ronin will be a primarily single character game, though Rosen posited that other characters could be playable in a flashback sequence, similar to how the comic series plays out. The primary action is said to center on the only surviving turtle. What is really exciting about this as well is that Paramount seems to want to cater to both the older audience and the younger audience with some of their Ninja Turtles media. You know, this game seems to play more so for the people who grew up with the Ninja Turtles and are now older adults and would want to see a darker grim story like the last Ronin. Plus we also had Shredder recently show up in Call of Duty of all things so it seems like Paramount is okay with having a bit more M-rated stuff for the turtles out there. But at the same time they still want to make sure that they cater to the younger audience and that they have fun stuff for the younger audience to be available to consume as well. That new animated movie looks amazing. I cannot wait to watch it. It looks like so much fun and it's definitely for the younger generation which is nothing wrong with that. I think that's great. And I think another franchise that really needs to follow suit on this is the Power Rangers because holy smokes there's so much untapped potential there too. Continuing with the Polygon article we got some unfortunate news it says here that the last Ronin video game adaptation is being developed by an unnamed studio and is likely a few years off from release Rosen said but like throwback beat em up Shredder's Revenge developed by Tribute Games at Dot Emu and the Cowabunga Collection developed by Retro Game Collection Experts Digital Eclipse Rosen said that they found the right partner to adapt the last Ronin into an ambitious AAA video game. All right, now here's the part where we form a little summoning circle, okay? A lot of people are gonna throw suggestions out there about which developer they're hoping is working on this game, and the one that I'm going to throw the hat in the ring for is Sucker Punch. Ghost of Tsushima is one of my favorite games of all time and is absolutely one of the best games I've played in recent memory. I love the world, I love the characters, I love everything that Sucker Punch did with that game, and if they were to take that sort of style, put it into New York City, make it grim, make it dark, make it dirty, and still have all the cool badass samurai stuff with the last Ronin in there, 
my goodness, could that make for one of the best games you'll ever experience? I doubt that's going to be the case because, one, it would be a PlayStation exclusive. I don't know if Paramount's down to do that, but we'll have to wait and see on that. And two, I think Sucker Punch is actually just working on Ghost of Tsushima too. I don't know how big that studio is, though, so maybe they could be working on a Ninja Turtles game as well. Who knows? It is unfortunate. It's a couple of years off, but apparently, according to the article, we're going to hear and maybe even see more from this game in the coming months and years. So I will definitely keep you guys up to date on all things related to this last run on project. I highly recommend that you read the graphic novel if you haven't already. Do not get it spoiled for you. Who the last remaining Ninja Turtle is, it's really cool when you find it out in the comic, and it's worth the read 100%. And with that being said, now I want to kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think about this news? How excited are you to hear that a last Ronin adaptation is coming and it's going to be a large scale AAA action RPG inspired by the God of War games? I also want to hear you guys sound off in the comments with what developer you hope is working on this game. Can't wait to see what everybody has to say in the comments below. I've been Caboose and I'll see you guys later.